Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition. Advanced. Advanced. Yes, yes. I won uh, Dungeons and Dragons, and it was advanced. Mm, then the second edition of Advanced. Mm hmm. Yes, yes. That's from the community episode. Oh, uh, yeah. Season I, two, I only watched that one time, but, so I don't really know the quotes mm -hmm. from that. Yeah. Yes. Well, no, I, I have seen it too many times if that's mm. even possible no nah, that's impossible uh, it's a good episode that's impossible. it was really good it was really clever i liked the future episode but i flashback to it it wasn't as fun <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. anywho uh you mm, you're in kershwick i believe i'm in kershwick um, and um i assume i've got no money now so i'll just put zero on my yep. character sheet you broke yeah i'll put zero on the sheet all right uh huh uh, all right oh. well it's just a two-day journey from kershwick to berkshire right. should be an I'll, easy thing i'll head south let's see how many hobgoblins i get oh well you do get an encounter oh what am i getting I well, I why don't you roll me a 2d10 for the rarity i should have said oh i'll wait for a traveling group to go with it ah oh, that would have been nice i didn't say it in time so it didn't count Ooh, let's try that again that uh, yeah, yeah. 2d10 2d10 sir oh, is, oh my goodness that's fine. 17. 17. That is an uncommon encounter. We're only oh a boy. d20 for the type, uh, for the actual encounter. Okay, Neil. Yeah. 17 again. Oh my. Well, double rare. Oh my. I'll turn around and run back to town, Neil. I <laughs> know oh, that's not how it works. <laughs> So you're walking down the road when you make a perception check. Let's see if this is the first bad one. Yep, it is. Uh, you gonna kill me now? Probably. Yeah. 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 Well, that's very unfortunate. Yeah. Um. So you coming down the road when out of the forest, scampering on six legs comes a basilisk. I turn around and run. Well. Before you can get to run, you have to observe the creature that is coming at you. And that's a problem. Because merely mm. observing a basilisk in full is potentially lethal. Mm-hmm. Basilisks are very eyes. dangerous. Did I look in its eyes? That is the out. question. So um, I think we're going to have to roll initiative as you are alerted and look to the side. And the, there is a certain range on Basilisk's vision. Mm. And it's daylight at the moment. The Basilisk rolls. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, Max. Well, even at, okay, it doesn't matter what size they are then. They roll a five. It's either plus three for an eight or plus six for an 11. All of that is before you. Yeah. And I think mm -hmm. they're size large anyway. No Don't medium. Just quick petrification. Five. So the basilisk scampers towards you. Movement rate six. Mm -hmm. And attempts to meet your gaze. Close Which my eyes, so I can I run. Can do so uh, as you're standing there, shocked, surprised. It's like your first day back in town, or mm -hmm. you know, back on the mainland, and all of a sudden, a basilisk runs out. It is sort of a lizard creature. It could, it's mm -hmm. even maybe considered like a super lesser form of dragon, or maybe like a weird offshoot of dragon. <laughs> you might be able to argue it's somehow related to these creatures that you serve, <laughs> but it certainly doesn't recognize you as an ally and it attempts to view your face. Give me a saving throw versus petrification. Failed, I'm a statue, I'm dead. <laughs> well, that's really anticlimactic, but that's the way the cookie crumbles exactly. on your way back after oh, spending- Oh, that means my book's petrified too. So the stuff I found out, no one finds out about. <laughs> well. <laughs> You know, the other encounter tables we were rolling on, it was like giant beetle, giant beetle, bunch of rats. You know, they were actual monsters. And the, the earlier encounters from today were like goblins. And I rolled some other things that were like, you know, there's some wild dogs that we just ignored. And um, 
Yeah, I mean, everything else on this table, on this uncommon random encounter of a forest was kobold scouts, giant ants, a kobold ambush, maybe a jaguar or a leopard. You know, these things you could maybe handle. Goblin scouts, you know, D- mm. how many of the D4 plus one, you could maybe handle up to five goblins yeah. or at least talk your yeah, way yeah. out of it. A brown bear could be scary, but you could walk away from it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think a cave bear could be scary, but again, that's like a nat. That, that's mm. also not. This is the only thing on here. No, actually, a manticore or a wyvern would have been fucky. Mm, um, yeah, but yeah. still, it was like a four yeah. out of twenty chance on the random encounter area. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're turned to stone before you can mm-hmm. do anything. Welcome to yep, second yep. edition, everybody. <laughs> yep. Kaboom. So Adrian is petrified. Set you on the road. And he's a statue on the road. All the information he found out turned the stone as well. Oh, what a <laughs> shame. Maybe next week, the dragon will have a new follower whose job it is is to retrieve Adrian and bring him back. Maybe that will be next week's session if no one else is around or if a bunch of people are around. Who knows what? But that's going to wrap us up for this week, everybody. Sorry for the really short last segment. There was no way to call this stuff ahead of time. No. Nope. You know, great. Yeah, I planned to actually just trick some. I was going to make another fake treasure map and I tricked some more people to come with me. So oh, I would have be- got back in the dragon's good graces. <laughs> oh, it would have been great. Yeah. I was going to give you experience for every gold that you got, gave the dragon and for every person you gave the dragon. It was going to be great. But uh, <laughs> sometimes life sucks and then you die. Yeah. Survived so meeting a red dragon, get killed by a basilisk. Yep. Met two red dragon, three red dragons killed I've by a basilisk. Met, yeah, I've met the three main, the three known red dragons of the island, all three of them. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, sorry for that ending. Uh, but I'm that's good. just the hell. Yeah. Well, audience, that's what you get for having me as the only person here. Mm. You get a character who's dead. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But hey, I was being clever and I was being survival, so I wasn't being, I was being a little reckless, but you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I just love the way I've dealt with those goblins. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. The Goblin Encounters was a series of great lies and manipulations. It was wonderful. Mm-hmm. That was wonderful. All right. Well, uh, that's that. We'll, we'll be back next week with a little bit more shenanigans. See you um, next week, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye.